So the angle has to be at a 45 degree on the inner wall. Good to see everybody again. This is uh, Charlie and Ken, the P-Series guys, and we're here today to talk about how to replace or clean the probes on the burner unit. Charlie? Great. Uh, hi, everybody. So we're going to talk about how to first clean the probes on the P12-2 burner head. Um, so what you want to do is get a piece of uh, very fine sandpaper and hold it with one hand mm -hmm. and start cleaning very gently, you know, all around. And also don't forget to clean the contact area to get good um, spark. <clears throat> That's how you do it. That's what, try not to move it because the, the way these are set up is crucial. You gotta be careful of the gap, the gap not to move. This is a 60 thousandths, which is a one and a half, 1.5. 1 1.5 millimeter. Millimeter. Yeah. And you can get one of these. Uh, and truth be told, when you purchase a unit from us, the uh, toolkit brings a um, feeler okay. gauge. So you can get, I believe the, the feeler gauge in the, to, in the toolkit has a 1.5. Or you can do what I did, which is this is half, mm -hmm. you know, 0.5, and then put a little tape on it, and then you measure it. So this is uh, about 60 thousandths. That's good. And also the, the, uh, the angle. So the angle can get confusing, right? But it's very easy. The angle has to be at a 45 degree on the inner wall. Let me use something on the inner wall of the housing when you're setting it up. So you gotta be careful not to break them. And the angle, if you notice, it's more towards the inside of the wall. You can see it here a little bit better on this angle right here. And that's how you, uh, you clean them. Also, I've gotten phone calls where I say, well, how do I replace them? Because truth be told, you know, these is, this also is a wear and tear part and you're gonna wanna replace it. So you, you use a 12 millimeter, closed end. Don't use this part because it can strip the nut. You would unplug the, the, the wire from it and then to remove the probe, loosen the nut and then pull the old one out and then you do everything in reverse. Paying close attention after you put it on, the angle and the positioning that we already talked about. Also, do not, do not over tighten. All it, all it needs is a gentle tightening and you're done. Charlie, this may sound like a strange question, but when you put the cable back onto the probe, how many clicks should you hear? Very good question. Um, it can be very deceiving, Ken, because if when you're putting it back on, there's one click and you think it's on, right? Well, it's really not on. You got to hear the second click. So that is full contact. If you are having a hard time pulling it out, with one hand you hold it to keep the position, and then you use a flat screwdriver to pull it down. And once you pull it down, because if you notice in here, you can easily break that ring right there. And then you render this uh, useless. You'd have to get another one, which we don't sell these um, by themselves, you know. So be, be very careful not to break that inside, inside part right there. So once you take this off, give it a slight tug. And I want to address what happens if this count becomes undone. Don't fret, because all it is is a, a turn, you know, uh, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. Get a nice, clean cut here, and you put it back on. See? Just like you're, you're tightening a, a bolt and a nut, give it a, and then you're good. 
and then you put it back on again. So don't don't put it this way, don't put it that way. You got to go straight up. And that's how you replace and clean the probe. Thank you for watching, you guys. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, you can leave comments below on future videos that you'd like to see.